Damn Dio show. You get into the rap shit. When you was in the street just, just hustling, grinding, you was broke, just barely making it and shit like that, but you were under the radar. Their way of putting you in the fucking spotlight and getting that evidence that they want to get you to fuck off the street is to put you in a place where you can't hide this shit. If you hide it, you're not going to pop. The trap is already set. Um, right now what they have is um, trucks. They're trying out trucks and cars, but mainly trucks because it's a job. Warehouse jobs that no longer need humans to whatever the fuck they got to do. They don't, you don't need an actual driver to drive this truck. It drives itself. Hip-hop police used to be you needed real officers in order to do that job. And they were mysterious. You know what I'm saying? You didn't know who they were and all that shit like this. The hip-hop police, that job has now been given to machines. And those machines are Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, 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 and Instagram. These are the hip-hop police of 2019. They collect all the evidence, do all the surveillance, and damn near make arrests. They even prosecute their own cases. When, when a prosecutor goes into the courtroom, all they have to do is pull up Facebook and it tells the story itself. It's like, you have to, all you would have to do, if, if, if all you do all day long is try to find out how to catch criminals, how hard would it be to say, you know what, let's just, you know what I'm saying? Let's just allow them to tell them themselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? How hard would it be to put somebody over here, okay, they need protection, no, it's like it, I don't think it'll be that fucking hard. And to see how this shit goes down, how Danny, Jesse, whatever the fuck this Mexican's name is, he's going home. Everybody else is going to jail. How is this not a trap? Candio show. Hey, it's Candio. Like, comment, subscribe, share. It's cool.